Hi, I'm David Charlton, and this is the Demystifying Mental Toughness Podcast. Five minutes for a series of six episodes on a Tuesday for those interested in football or soccer. And in this case, specifically for coaches and parents. Hi there, and welcome to episode 229 of the Demystifying Mental Toughness Podcast. So, this is now the first of three episodes for football parents, and today I'm going to refer back to emotions. The emotions of being a parent when a child wants to drop out from football, and we'll also consider the emotions of the child too. So, recently in a number of episodes I have talked about emotions and the emotional experience of a coach or a player. As I say, this time we're going to think more so from the parent's perspective. How are you triggered? How do you respond? How do you react when your child potentially wants to quit football? And then we're also going to consider the influence of your actions on your child. You know, when we think about sport, when we think about football, it really can be a great thing. It can offer so many opportunities. They can grow. They can develop all sorts of skills from goal setting to discipline to overcoming adversity, as well as the normal skills on the pitch. But yes, it is fraught with challenges too. But then, so is life. So in these three episodes, I just want to try and help you anticipate and manage some of these challenges a little bit better so that your children can have a positive or a more positive experience in their football and in their sport. Often, as parents, when it comes down to helping our children navigate these sort of experiences, we'll often do things by trial and error. Essentially, when an experience crops up, we'll either act on it straight away because of our emotions and the fact that they've been evoked, or we might give ourselves a little bit of time to think, have a chat with our partner, friends, relatives, and then go about things in the way that we want to. So this episode and the following two episodes, these are about anticipating challenges. And we're going to choose one challenge per episode. So as I mentioned We're starting here with motivation and dropping out of football or sport, not potentially wanting to play for their team and possibly not enjoying their football experience. And yet this situation is something that I've encountered recently with one of my kids. So I am drawing upon this as well as my sports psychology toolkit, which helped me no end to make peace with the situation. I was drawn into all sorts of thoughts and comparisons on the thought of him quitting. At least for now, that is. Will the club that he's playing with, will it take him back if he changes his mind? Why can't he just enjoy himself like the other kids seem to be doing? Is there something wrong with him? Is it me? Is it my parenting? Or our parenting? All these sort of things went through my head. So what I did, and what you could do if you're in a similar situation, is give some thought here to the motivational side. Why is it that you want your child to play football? And why does your child want to play football? Firstly, if we think about why you want them to play football, is it because you want them to be active? Do you want them to make new friends? Do you want them to be part of a team? To burn off some energy maybe and get away from screens? Or do you want them to earn money in future from the sport? I'd be a little bit worried if that's the case. Have a think. And maybe you want to get a pen and paper out and enlist your top three reasons for why your child or children should play football or play sport for that matter. And then consider your child. Think about why it is that your child actually plays football or sport. I bet their opinion is very different to yours. Perhaps they want to learn new skills. Maybe it's because they find it exciting or because their friends play. It could be that they feel good in themselves when they score a goal. Or is it because their parents want them to play? Maybe actually they want to be the next Cristiano Ronaldo. Kylian Mbappe or Lionel Messi? What do you think they would say? And maybe, you know, if they're old enough, it is something that you can explore with them. Simply doing this exercise with them can help you as well as your child. I'd imagine there might be a multitude of emotions that you're faced with. Maybe some frustration, disappointment, and even embarrassment. This exercise can really help you process these different emotions and get clear with your thoughts. And in the show notes, I've actually got two checklists there which you can refer back to and can help simplify matters for you. And if your child is old enough, the child-friendly checklist, well, they can do independently without your say-so. 
and then you can come back to it and compare notes and then have a conversation from there. As I say, you know, this can shift your perspective. It can help you open up some conversations that you wouldn't normally have with your child and you can really understand why it is that they play football and then it can aid your decision-making process as to whether they're going to continue or not continue. And then next week, we'll add another exercise as well, which again is going to help you. Going back to this whole thing about the emotional experience and what it is that you're experiencing, let's think about some of the emotions that they may experience when they're active. They might well feel good in themselves, happy. And likewise, when they're making new friends. And what about the emotions they'll experience if they struggle to make friends? They learn coping mechanisms to be able to deal with this. There'll be times when they make you feel proud when they play football. Other times you're going to be a bit worried. Then there's that whole thing about earning money from sport in the future. What's that all about? Is that your excitement for a different lifestyle? What's that born out of? Is that because you haven't been able to create that lifestyle by yourself? You know, if we think about the child's experience as well, they're learning new skills, making friends, they're feeling good in themselves, they'll probably access that flow state quite naturally with a quiet mind where there's not a lot of thinking going on and they're just having a great time. So how can you actually help them simply have a great time moving forwards? It might have to be that difficult decision to move them away from football, even if it is just for the time being. Maybe they do need to try another sport. It's certainly a really difficult thing to navigate, given all the different emotions and thoughts that can crop up in your head. Next week, I'm going to share with you another exercise that you can do as a follow-up from this one, which can help shape your decision-making too. Until then, please do sign up to The X Factor, a regular newsletter which is full of ideas and different resources to help football players, football parents and football coaches. Take care.